this is the placenta, this is attached to you, and this is the cord. And everything that you breathe in, eat, drink, is absorbed and passes through the placenta and along the cord into the baby. So it gives the baby everything it needs to grow and be healthy. But when you have a cigarette, that carbon dioxide comes along the cord and it's as if somebody gets hold of your cord, your baby's cord, and squeezes it really, really hard. And as you can see, if that was held really tightly and squeezed really tightly, that stops the oxygen getting to your baby. And if you can't get the oxygen, it can't grow and be healthy as you want it to be. What might happen is that the baby is smaller, but it'll also be a weaker baby. It won't be able to cope with things as well. So when you're in labour, it might be that the baby struggles more and that you end up, that you have to have a cesarean section. And that would mean that um, you could be in hospital longer. Also, we know one of the problems with smoking is that preterm labour, you're going to have preterm labour. If that's the case, well then your baby will be in hospital for quite a few weeks on special care and might be quite poorly, might need oxygen because it's a weaker baby, because it's not got the nutrients, because the placenta hasn't been working as well. So if it's alright with you, I'd just like to do a test today to see how much carbon monoxide is in your system. Connect it up. And you see now that's flashing red, so that's telling us that your baby is in danger. Its little heart's having to work really, really hard because there's not as much oxygen going around your baby's system because it's blocked by that carbon monoxide. And so it's really, really struggling to get enough oxygen to keep it healthy, keep it growing. Now, I know this is all new to you. you. You weren't aware of this at all before, and it is quite upsetting. But I think it's important that we tell you these things, because if you don't have this information, you can't make choices about your pregnancy, your baby. Pregnant smokers and their families have actually responded really, really positively to the Baby Clean initiative. I think one of the reasons for that is the fact that the information is, is um, presented really factually. People don't feel as though they're being lectured to. People are actually finding out new information about smoking in pregnancy, things that they weren't aware of, things that we'd all assumed, I suppose, in the past that they knew about, um, and overwhelmingly the response has been positive.